Hello, welcome to Storytime with Jen. Today, we're going to be reading Jojo's Revenge by Nick Inkpen. Like all babies, Jojo was squeezed and squashed and passed around a lot, like past the parcel. Everyone wanted to prod him to make him smile or poke their fingers into his mouth to see if he had grown any teeth. People would knit him sweaters that were too big or too small. The silliest one had a matching pom-pom hat with ear flaps. And though his crib was full of furry animals, the things he really wanted were always out of reach. At night, just as Jojo was beginning to enjoy a good yell, someone would always find a way to stop him. And once, even his mom got cross with him for filling his diaper. Oh, Jojo, she said, not now. So one day to get back, Jojo decided that instead of eating his dinner, he would wear it. After this, there was no stopping him. Every day, Jojo managed to try on his breakfast, his lunch, and his dinner. It's because he's like me, said Grandpa. He's artistic. Jojo's mom bought him some face paints to play with, but Jojo ignored them. He preferred to paint with cereal. Then, one day, Jojo's mom went out, leaving his grandpa to look after him. Try not to let him make too much mess with his dinner, she said. When she got back, she was amazed. Jojo's plate was empty, and there was not a single scrap of food on him. Grandpa! How did you do it, she said. Like this, said Jojo's grandpa. Uh, the end. That's it for today's episode of Storytime with Jen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you tomorrow.